Welcome back everyone, thanks for joining me. Today I want to talk to you about a favourite fragrance from the 1990s. It's Donna Karan's Signature. Now Signature was named as such because it was the first eau de parfum Donna Karan ever created. Um, and it's just been produced in a phenomenal flacon as you can see here. This perfume bottle was actually designed by her husband, uh, Stefan Weiss. Now Stefan was a great driving force behind the brand and in fact he was responsible for brokering some of the great deals that pushed Donna Karan into the stratosphere. But he was also an artist in his own right. Stefan uh, was originally an abstract artist, then became a set or stage designer and then went on to become a sculptor. And his sculptures are still dotted around New York and in private collections around the world. But he used to work a lot with journals and in these journals he would fill all of the pages with just randomly placed dots. And then he'd go back later on and join the dots with sinuous lines uh, to create abstract forms. And it was from one of those designs that this particular bottle was created. When it was launched in 1992 though, it did receive a lot of criticism. Pretty much because people found it phallic. Uh, in fact, the advertising campaign that was launched to support the fragrance had a very resolute female energy, which you can see here. I'll put the graphic up on the side. Uh, from other angles, the bottle became quite penile. And uh, when actually interviewed about the shape of his bottle, Stefan once said, um, I have hundreds of designs. Uh, I didn't set out to make a bottle that looked like a penis. Unfortunately, I just chose one of my designs that happened to look a bit penile. Whatever you think of the bottle, I love it. I just feel like it really encapsulates our idea of the pending new millennium. Back in the early 90s, we were excited about the future, about watching that millennium tick over, and our minds were going into space a lot more. We saw it in the design of things like the Apple iMac and its wonderful acrylic casing. We saw it in designs like this bottle. And um, they really exemplified the time. The fragrance itself though, I love it. It's a very complex blend. And in fact, I'm gonna struggle to remember all of the notes. Uh, I'll put them in the comments below, but uh, it has orange blossom, there's uh, osmanthus, lily, there's um, gosh, rose, vanilla, jasmine, tonka bean, leather, suede, uh, there's so many, benzoin, too many things to remember, but it's such a complex, wonderful, wonderful blend. And for my mind, I sort of feel it really harkens back to early 20th or mid 20th century fragrances, such as Miss Dior, the very early version by Christian Dior, or even Guerlain's Vol de Nuit. There is some sort of red thread that connects those three uh, in this instance, and I love them. If you're looking for something singular and exciting, uh, Signature's a great one to hunt down. It's sort of been replaced nowadays in the 2020s by a lot of fruity florals and lolly water and things like that, which I really don't tolerate so well. This one has a wonderful feel of old art deco, almost opulence. Unfortunately, Stefan Weiss passed away in 2001 after a seven year battle with cancer. And um, after that, of course, Donna Karan was bereft. She ended up creating the Urban Zen Retreat in New York, which is a sort of a charitable foundation which does a lot of work for um, children in Africa and things like that. You should check it out online. Well, thank you for sitting with me and uh, letting me run through this rundown of Donna Karan's signature. It did have a male counterpart that was produced in 1994, that was DK Fuel for men, in this bottle here, another one of Stefan Weiss's uh, wonderful designs. I will be reviewing this one another day and going into greater depth about that one, but in the meantime they make an incredibly striking pair. Leave me a comment below and tell me what you think about some of these fragrances by Donna Karan, uh, or just let me know what you'd like to see on this channel. And while you're there, if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button and you'll be advised when I'm uploading new material. Thanks for joining me again today and we'll catch up with you very soon.